What's up guys? What is the current state of Atlas in August 2020? It's uh, a mixed bag. It's much better at the moment as in the dev team are really active but there have been uh, a lot of issues um, but they've also been fixing issues so that's cool. Obviously in June we had the server wipe and the new map Maelstrom released along with the announcement of some upcoming new features farmhouses, warehouses, trade winds, the uncertainty of PVE, the new direction of PVE, uh, which we still don't know much about, but we've seen farmhouses come out, warehouses are about to drop any minute or any hour now, and um, yeah, still no real look at what trade winds are, but the new map's pretty cool, the idea of it was to I believe um, if you go back to 2019 on their roadmap when they've talked about their aim for the game of moving some of the focus towards more ocean gameplay and getting more players involved out on the ocean, one of the ways of them doing that would be to make the map smaller, which they have done. It's now an 11 by 11 grid instead of 15 by 15. They've had a move around of the different... Uh, regions of different temperate zones are now in a different order as they were before um, the golden age ruins and the kraken are all moved into the center of the map and with a ring of lawless regions around them and then the uh, claimable areas around the outside of the atlas so it's pretty cool it's not completely solved all the issues I guess they was hoping to uh, resolve, but it's the first step in making the gameplay much faster, I'd imagine, speeding up the overall feel of the game in PvP, uh, reduce the amount of time sailing and you know having things closer to hand where you might have set up, with only the odd occasion where you might need to go to the other side of the atlas or take on the long voyage so that's kind of cool i think that's worked the addition of the farmhouses has sped up the um, or removed a lot of the grind for resources um, i personally thought they was going to be too busted when they announced them but i actually think they're a great addition to the game i can see why they would make pvp a lot better they're actually pretty cool in pv as well they take away a lot of that grind for resources like i mentioned um, the only thing I don't like is there's not a, a cap on them, like you can just place as many as you like and it is causing an issue with you know being able to build in places and obviously it's adding to some lag issues that we're currently having in the game. Um, think of them like the shipyards, if you've played the game before you might have seen shipyards left everywhere, well now you've got them all the way around the coast and you've got farmhouses all over the islands. Um, I think they need to put a cap on it. But other than that, they're a pretty cool addition to the game. Warehouses are about to drop, which are an addition to the farmhouses. At the moment, as far as we know, they're basically a glorified storage box. They're going to allow the farmhouses to continue gathering resources for a longer period of time. At the moment, they're filled within, I think, like six to eight hours, something like that. They've only got a weight capacity of 8,000. Um, so the warehouse is going to empty the farmhouse and allow the farmhouse to keep gathering resources. Um, and these are the first iterations of these features. So we don't know where they're going to go in the future, the farmhouse and the warehouses. I would like to see more options with the warehouse other than a glorified storage box to be fair. Um, to, be fair. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's what I'd like. The dev team have been really active. There's been a lot more communication than the last few years. Uh, we've got a new lead designer, we've got new members of the community team, a new uh, community manager, I believe. And they seem to have been doing a great job recently. They're really active on Twitter. They seem to be taking notice of what people are saying and doing within the game through Reddit and other outlets that people use to communicate within the Atlas community. And it's... A positive experience, I have to say. I think they've done a great job. They've, like I said, they've been active like with communication. They've also been active in trying to fix bugs and exploits. Hasn't always gone to plan, but they have tried to do things and fix stuff. Um, they've definitely fixed a, a, quite a few exploits. Um, I know the big one was the Yeti exploit, which people were using to level up really, really fast. Um, they thought they fixed it, and then people found another way around it, I believe. So they tried to fix it again. Both times when they've tried to fix the issue, they have um, 
wound people's level back to 80, I believe it was. And uh, like I said, it didn't work. And people leveled up again quickly. So they wound it back again. Um, and then after that, they decided to just remove XP from the bosses to solve the issue temporarily because they had discovered a whole rabbit hole of problems, apparently, when they opened up that can of worms. They found many, many issues um, that went a lot deeper than they thought. So their workaround was to remove the XP for now and look into it at a later date because they want to focus on getting the content out that they've got ready to roll out to us, which a lot of companies have been criticised for. I would be in that uh, camp as well because... You know, I think get your game fixed and then add stuff to it. But I think the game was um, the way it's been for the last like year or so, which was playable. And they were going to release these new features and then look into improving everything, optimizing the performance and all that kind of stuff. Then they opened up this can of worms. So I think they're just trying to get out what they've got now and then look at the uh, deeper problems. I, I Fingers crossed. I hope that's what they're doing. Um, and that does make sense to do that. And the other issue is lag. Uh, the server performances have really dipped. I'm not sure what's caused it. Since the farmhouse update, it's definitely been worsened. I imagine that is from a lot of structures being placed everywhere. Um, I think it is on PvP and PvE. I have tried to find out more from the PvP side of things because I play on the PvE server. Um, and I have seen people mention it, so I'm guessing it is the same there as well. Let me know down below if you do know and if it is the same issues we're having in PvE. Like, just the lag's been a lot worse. Like, you, even with like good ping, good FPS, it's still getting like choppy servers. Getting lag out on the ocean when you're sailing, the um, likelihood of your animals disappearing off your ship seems to have increased, and getting invisible animals and things like that seems to be occurring more and more. And like I said, it's happened or ramped up more. It was always a problem, like don't get me wrong, but it's ramped up more since um, the last few weeks, since the farmhouse update and things like that. So I think they need to just get the warehouses out, but that's coming in the next couple of days, and put a halt on things and fix the servers or fix whatever the problem is that's causing all this lag. And probably as well sort out the um, exploit with the bosses and uh, get that up and running. From what I've seen, um, people have said that they, they're taking a break from Atlas while they sort these issues out, which I think is good that they said take a break, because normally people just go off in a rage and say the game's trash. But I've seen more people this time around say, oh, you know, they're really enjoying the new, the new season, but with the issues at the moment, the lag was a nail in the coffin and they just want to get it sorted and the game to be more optimised and working smoother before they come back, which is totally understandable. But I think that's a good thing that that is the response to everything. It does show you that the game is moving in the right direction. As crazy and as weird as that sounds, um, I hope you get what I mean by that. Like Rather than just being like raging and, oh, I'm done with this game, it's trash. You know, They want to come and play it, but the, the lag is just preventing that. So, um, yeah, I think that needs to be addressed. Other than that, I think the game's in a, a good place, like moving forward. It's looking like it's going in a good direction, but they definitely need to fix these issues that we're having at the moment, that's for sure. The other good thing that's going on at the moment is the the activity. The, the player base has got bigger. <laughs> it's not got huge, but it's definitely grown. There's new players come in, there's old players come back. And the game's been really active since the uh, new map came out in the wipe, etc. And it's got a good vibe. It's it's good fun at the moment. Everyone seems to be enjoying it for the most part. Obviously, the uh, louder voice is always the more negative for the most part. But um, yeah, I think most people are actually enjoying it. Like I said, people that are saying they're um, going to go away from Atlas for a bit, are saying they're going away because of like lag issues and they want the game to be a lot smoother before they come back. And I think that is key. Like I said, as strange as it is, I think that's a good thing that the key word there is that then they'll come back. Um, so obviously people are looking forward to the future of Atlas. But going back to the main point, the, the, the game's been really active recently. Um, it seems the same on PV and PvP, but definitely in PV where I play it's been really active. The other thing I didn't mention earlier, if you don't know, was obviously they, obviously, if you don't know, you don't know, but they um, shut down the other PvE servers, so there's only the one PvE server now, which is Whale Solitude, which is an EU server, so the NA and EU have emerged onto this one server, and uh, yeah, I imagine that already 
makes things a little bit more strained uh, and might like might create some performance issues and then we've had these lag issues recently so i don't know if everything together's sort of fueled this happening at the moment along with the uh, farmhouses being spammed everywhere i don't know how that all works whether you know the servers being merged like that does affect performance i imagine it would i also think there was a much bigger pv base of players than people thought um and yeah like you can go on most servers and you know every grid you'll go into there will be a, a good amount of players on that server at that time i think it's good that it's everyone's on this one server because it does create that activity like i said i don't know how it affects the performance of the servers but um, yeah, it's it's definitely been good because, like I said, it's made the server a lot more active. I get the impression from PvP it's super active as well. So, you know, obviously the game is doing much better now than it has been over recent memory. And uh, again, it's it all seems like it's heading in the right direction. I'm not saying the game's perfect. It's not by a long shot. There's still a lot of bugs, still exploits need addressing. Um, I will say, though, like, when they patch things, they quite often, if you read through the patch notes, you will see that they are fixing bugs and trying to address exploits. One of the patches they've done recently, they fixed the exploit with explosive barrels being duplicated. And when they tweeted, like even that day and the next day, people were going off on Twitter about the this exploit and it's not in the game anymore, but they obviously haven't read the patch notes. So... Yeah, I think people need to, you know, just have a little read of the patch notes. They they seem to keep them quite small and brief at the moment, which is nice. So it doesn't take like more than a, a minute or two to quickly, you know, browse through it and see what they've done. But yeah, like I said, almost every patch they've put out recently, it's had some form of fix or exploit fix in it. And uh, yeah, again, the dev team have been really active on that front recently, along with communication. So it's all looking good for the future of the game. And uh, yeah, only time will tell as to whether, you know, what their focus is with this game, whether they are going to put as much effort into it as I like to believe they will, or whether other people will be right with the, uh, you know, the, the cash grab type look at the game. I don't think that's the case, but, you know, it is, it is an opinion that's out there. Um, but the effort they're putting in at the moment and the direction the game's going, it does look like they're trying to get the game back on its feet and uh, get it towards its potential. As a summary, I would say at the moment it is it is playable, but it is having lag issues. Um, there are some bugs and exploits still. I say some, there's still a lot of bugs, but this is early access, and I know they keep saying it in their recent messages, but it's true, and I've said it a lot, Like this is part of early access games. If you don't agree with that, then well, I don't know what to tell you. That has always been my experience with early access games. Um, no matter how long they're in early access, it's always a case of different changes happening randomly at different times and always bugs and exploits that need addressing. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. I think, I think the game's great at the moment or going in the right direction. Got lag issues, bugs need fixing just like other early access games. Player base is growing. It seems super active at the moment. The dev team is super active at the moment. A lot to look forward to. Warehouses are around the corner. Trade wins are somewhere in the near future, which will be interesting to see what they actually are. Ships for gold are still on the agenda and coming soon, and that will be interesting to see how that works. Um, so, yeah, a lot of promising stuff. Still needs a lot of work doing. But um, yeah, if you're thinking about buying a game right now, I would say, honestly, I'd probably wait for a patch or two and see what comes out of them, see if the um, performance issues get addressed, um, because it is turning people off right now, and it would be a shame for you to start playing the game, and as well as trying to find your feet in the game and get an understanding of how the game works, to be suffering with lag issues and performance issues as well. So yeah, I would hold fire for now, but definitely keep your eye on it. And I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I love the game and I'm still playing it. I was playing it earlier before I started making this video. And as soon as I'm done here, I'm going back on it. But um, yeah, I'm just being honest to you guys. It does need addressing the lag issues and performance needs addressing. If you do enjoy these type of videos and like these type of discussions, again, leave your thoughts down below, guys. This isn't just for me to tell you how amazing the game is or anything like that this is you know i'm giving you my thoughts on the game 
and I'd be as honest as I can and I love reading through and chatting to you guys and having discussions about different things so leave your thoughts down below as well um, like I said if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you're not ready hit the subscribe button I'm doing as many of these videos as I can right now I'm trying to stay up with the news on Atlas and patch notes and things like that and um, yeah as well as gameplay and live streams from Atlas Arc going to be doing some green hell in the near future a few other things in the pipeline star citizen of course really enjoying things at the moment so plenty coming forward also got a discord if you want to join that and get involved in the community there um set up a little while ago it's starting to really grow now and uh, yeah hopefully it's going to be a great place to be a part of and it's got a trading page on there we've got the atlas marketplace where you can check out what um me and my guys in the company are trading um, and you can check out other people are trading you can ask for stuff in there you can join the merchants guild if you have a trading discord so yeah check that out and uh, also just set up a a reddit page for the channel where i'm trying to get a collection at the moment at least of um some like atlas memes anything funny to do with atlas that um, you think might make me laugh or uh, maybe just some cool stuff to do with atlas like share it there I'm trying to get a collection together and do a bit of a reaction video to it at some point when there's enough there. So yeah, I need you guys to put it there so I don't see it until I do a video. That's the idea anyway. Whether it will happen or not, I don't know. I'm putting it out there and hopefully you guys get involved. Let me know your thoughts, like I said earlier, on the current state of Atlas and um, yeah, how you're finding it. Are you thinking about buying the game? Let me know down below. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.